Hello everyone, welcome to my mum live chat again today, live from the car, currently in Asda Car Park. I'm sat here, I've just been to Greg's to get the kids some sausage rolls, because who doesn't love Greg's sausage rolls? Um, the kids do, absolutely love them, so I've come to Asda, and to be honest, I'm mustering up the enthusiasm to go inside. Food shopping is not my favourite thing. So yes, yeah, so I thought, do you know what, while I muster up the enthusiasm to go in, I'm going to stay and have a chat and talk about my seasons. So I might have a few people staring at me, thinking that I'm a bit of a loony, sat in the car, just chatting away to myself. But hey-ho, I know what I'm doing, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, seasons, that's what I've been thinking about. And I never saw life like this until, I can't remember whether... It was something I saw or whether it was something Shane had seen and mentioned to me. But basically, a bit like spring, summer, autumn and winter, you need to see your life as being seasons. So events happen and a bit like a season, it, it comes on and you live through it and then the season changes. And life should be seen a bit like that. So. For us at the moment, our current season, I would say, is Section 21. That's the season of our life at the moment. That's the event that's happening. That's what we've got to live through. And it's appeared and we'll live through it and it will come to an end when obviously it goes to court or something else happens. And then the season will change and then there'll be something else. And then when, when I heard about it, however I heard about it, I can't remember, it all became apparent that actually, yeah, throughout your life, you do live through a lot of seasons. And I think in some instances, a season you've already lived through can prepare you in some ways for a season that's yet to come. So I'm probably making no sense, so let me explain. Right, so when I look at my life, um, I think we've lived through some pretty hard seasons and challenging seasons but equally I think we've lived through some absolutely fantastic seasons it's never all doom and gloom and seasons aren't all bad seasons are good and bad so um we lived through a really hard season when my mum became really poorly and it started in 2009 she was having trouble with her sight and she was getting headaches anyway she collapsed at work turned out she got brain tumour most aggressive form of brain tumour you can have gave her 12 to 18 months to live so that started a new season for me and my sister Shane and my sister's partner and all the kids so that was a really hard season it was a season of uncertainty the unknown I suppose because nobody knew what was going to happen they gave her 12 to 18 months to live they removed the tumour did the chemotherapy then then the tumour was gone and she was on the road to recovery. So that season almost came to an end. Then throughout the next couple of years, there was like mini seasons where she'd become poorly again. They'd deal with it, they'd do radio, um, radiotherapy. And then eventually, I think the final season was started in 2017 when she became really poorly. So she exceeded the 12 to 18 months and lived until 2018 so she lived a further eight years so the season then started again in june and she became really poorly and basically they said that any treatment they were doing it wasn't working the tumor had come back and that was a really difficult season again a lot of unknowns nobody knew what was going to happen how it was going to play out and then subsequently into it, early 2018 she passed away so that ended that season that was the end of that season and then a new season starts when you have to deal with the aftermath and sorting out finances and funerals and everything else so we got through that season and then 2019 through us i think was a really good season homeschooling we did a homeschooling season where we had to homeschool four of the kids because kieran by 2019 was totally done with school and was working so we had four kids to homeschool and I really liked that season. That brought a really good season for me. Um, it was nice to have the kids at home. We was all together, we was all safe. We was 
doing stuff, we were making stuff, we were doing the homeschooling, we were going on our walks and that lasted, I think it was from March until they went back to school in the September and then in 2020 we did another period of homeschooling when we had a mini season of homeschooling again when the schools were closed but also during 2019 after my mum had passed away um, her mum, my nan, was still alive so during our period of, home se uh, of homeschooling my nan became really poorly and she was suffering with I don't know if I say it right, pulmonary, pulmonary fibrosis, pulmonary fibrosis, where she was on oxygen and she was struggling to breathe. I don't know if I say it right. I don't think I've ever said it right. Anyway, that's what she had. So she was really poorly. And subsequently, me and my sister ended up going round and caring for her. And the season that I'd lived through with my mum, my point was the season that I'd lived through with my mum prepared me I think both, both mentally and emotionally for what was to come during the season of my nan being really poorly. So this went on from 2019 until she passed away at the end of 2020. So the season, so that's what I mean, the season that I'd already lived through and gone through had made me stronger and without even realising had prepared me for season that was yet to come obviously when my nan was born so i think now i do actually view my life in seasons because seasons do come and go like our seasons of homeschooling all of a sudden it's dropped on you oh this season's now starting and then obviously when they decide they can go back to school the season ends and it changes and not all seasons are bad. Like I've said, you could have a really, really good, positive, happy season where everything is amazing and life is amazing and everything. But also you can have bad seasons, I think, where life isn't so great. And yeah, it can be difficult. But I think if you just see it as it's only a season and it will pass, then I think hopefully that will make it a bit clearer because no season lasts forever and hopefully once you've got through that season it will make you stronger i mean some of the things we've lived through i mean crikey we could, we've had many 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 seasons that we could say about and i do think every season makes you stronger and i do feel now a lot tougher cookie now having gone through all of those seasons than if i hadn't have gone through them so you have to take away something positive from all these seasons as well whether they are good or bad um, and just be and just keep thinking that yeah it is only a season and each season passes and hopefully the next season will bring prosperity health happiness joy and everything else that's a lot more positive a lot more calm tranquility whatever whatever it's going to bring for you but yeah, that's what I wanted to say today. I now view my life in seasons and I'm safe in the knowledge that whether it's good or bad, every season eventually will come to an end and change and I can only hope and try and make the next season a better one. Anyway, I need to go. I need to really get my... Uh, I need to get a bit of a wiggle on and get into Asda because if I'm not back at 12 o'clock, then I'm going to have the kids ringing me up. Where are you? What time are you coming back? Where's my dinner? It's like having four mini bosses. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go. Um, hope you all have a great day, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Take care and we will talk to you again soon. Goodbye.